All right, there's Benjamin's down there. I got, I got it. Who else is gonna save him? It's unclear what's he, what force is even keeping him there. There's just like generalized pink energy around him. I guess he's being trapped somehow. It's a trap. Oh. Wow, oh, jeez, oh, wow, everyone calm down with the pixel art. All this parallax scrolling is too much for me. Oh, hello. Hmm. Who are you? I like the scales. This is Battle Axe, a game made by, I believe, Numskull Games and published by Bitmap Bureau. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Uh, Bitmap Bureau sent me a code for the Steam version, but I mean, I also bought it on, on my Xbox because it's just, has anyone seen this? You're gonna see it right now. It looks incredible. So you can see the, the, the art. It is so pixel. Uh, we have, we have Rooney Ner Neruder. I'm bad. I'm bad with cursive. I can curse, but I can't do cursive. Iolo. Iolo? Anyone? Druid? Dark Elf? We're a Dark Elf. We are so a Dark Elf. One day, I'll be a Dark Elf. Yes! <laughs> so, what's the first thing that pops in your mind when you look at a game like this? I just think so much of, like, late-era Amiga games. Maybe SNK. That's kind of... That's I don't know if people agree. I have a knife throw, which seems pretty infinite. Or pretty fast. You have a special move that cools down when you flash, and that's that's it right now. And all that's left is this gorgeous art. Oh my god, breath being taken right now. Uh, but we have to kill. We have to kill some some orkies. Any anything that looks vaguely evil, even some things that don't. I'm not gonna be picky. Ooh, chicken. Um, I was about to say I got distracted. There you go. There's Jarno Venom. Which sounds like some type of Star Wars character, but let's pick him up. That's a big score boost, so I see one of seven down there. Now, you know what I'm worried about? These trees, because these trees are blocking the view. Which means there could be shit under here. Under, under those glorious pixels. So I think I first saw this on Kickstarter a while ago, actually. And I, I just saw... I just saw its art and I'm like, and, and how much animation there really is here. And, you know, there's lots of Kickstarter projects that do that, lots of indie games in general. But there's something about this where I was like, oh, oh, give me some of that. Give me some of that real bad. And, of course, there's a bit of Dungeons & Dragons, of course, uh, in here. There's there's a lot of it. Dark Elves, Dwarves, uh, all that good stuff. So it does remind me of the Capcom games a little bit. Oh, Dylanson Johansson. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about! I love how he, I love that that flourish. There's some chicken found some tacos. So I'm not really using my special move too much. It doesn't hurt me, which is good. Ooh. Potion, huh? Oh shit! Yeah, she loves the chicken. So there's Thor Braun Hammer and then Zone Runner. This has to be. This has to be uh, uh, Kickstarter backers, right? That makes the most sense. I mean, that guy, he was doing it for as long as he could. He stayed in his little tower, but I think I got the best of him there. Now, I don't know what the little blue, uh, what, let's use it now. I don't know what it did. I, did my, did my attack animation, I, I, I pressed the button, it went away. I'm not sure what exactly happened, it's fine. It's fine. There they go. There's my boys. Yeah! Nice bridge. It's beautiful. The, the bugs are kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing a lot of EDF, so I, I have bugs on the mind. It's not It's not great. It's not... I had a dream the other day. I don't even really want to talk about it. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Very satisfying to hit things. And this, like, this is very, like has a beat-em-up feel, obviously it's a bit more, uh, has a bit more freedom in the level design and such, but just hitting things and everything dies in like one or two shots. Um, it's very much an arcade score attack, so, oh, let's do this. Oh! I almost thought I got too close there. 
a little worried. I'm not sure if that's like an enemy generator. I feel like it is because everyone's teleporting in. I think this. Oh my god, is it starting to rain too? I mean, we are up in the clouds, and up in the clouds stage seems like it's really advanced. This type of like level, like tile set, makes me think like we're almost at the end of a game rather than uh, the very start. All right, there's Gonodra Gun Mega Vision. Oh, I know Mega Vision. Mega Vision. I believe I follow them their Twitter account on on well Twitter. So uh, I would be surprised if if they pledged towards this game. I wish I had. Uh, by the time I really found out about it, it was over. Holy shit! It's a boss fight already. What are we What are we doing? Oh. Huh. Ah. Oh. Okay. I see. Oh. I'm in peril. I mean, he's almost dead. Huh. Oh. Damn it. Whoa! My God, that looks so good. Oh, I was an E rank. That's not great. Oh, hello. Can I sell you something? Uh, yeah, maybe some NFTs if you have them. No, don't support NFTs. It's terrible. Um, I'm full on health. So I will, I, the only thing I can afford is, is scroll. It would be nice to get descriptions for these things because I have no idea what they do. And it's like, I have the digital version of the game. I, I don't think there is an instruction manual, but I, I it would be cool if I could press something to get a description. Unless I can, I'm just not. I don't I don't feel like I can. Anyway, we'll get this. The forgotten mines. There's they're they're so forgotten that they're swarming with enemies. All right, let's lure these skeleton warriors down here. Ah! I didn't actually take a hit there, though, weirdly enough. So I also kind of noticed that there's a combo counter that cools down as you're doing shit, so... That's probably for getting score multipliers and what whatnot. Good to know. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh shit! A Graboid! Wasn't sure what it was before. Alright, let's, let's try to line this up. Let's try to line this up a bit better. Alright, that works, that works, I'll take it. Music is also pretty incredible from what I'm hearing. Uh, it's Tomas back. He loves his thank. He loves being rescued. Oh, that's not hittable. That's fine. It, it felt like it was, but I get you. Oh, can I not jump? No, I cannot jump there. I felt like that was like a jumping off point, but oh. it is very grabby. That Boyd. Oh God. There is there like a generate. Oh wow, that dude just just scaled and scrolled right into the fight. Uh, oh wait, there's something here! Oh, it's just a guy and I died. Whoops. So what is this? Okay, it nukes everything, that book. Now I know. That's... I guess there was... There could have been a worse time to use that. Motherfucker, stop generating enemies! It's like, there's this kind of quickness to it. It's almost Hotline Miami, like, Divas. Disappointed it's not Beavis. Oh, there you go. Okay, no, I just I just shoot some daggers. That's all it was. We're good. But 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 my dark elf needs needs the meat badly. Oh, well, just because he hadn't made such an entrance, I I I made sure to kill him there. Meat, 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 meat. Ah! Oh, I know she needs food badly. Where, food, food? Are you food? No, I can't eat fire. That's oh. Yeah, yeah, magic scroll. Oh, th there's Gream! I got so dis- Game over! Whoa! That's a harsh rule, that game over. So it starts you all- This is- This is an old school- Remember Volgar the Viking? The old Kickstarter game? That, that reminds me of that type of difficulty. So you really have to beat the game all in one one run. Because if you die, you start at the um, start of a level that you died at, sure. But the fact that I made progress in the second level and it boots me all the way back to the start of the game, mm, not even a single continue. I guess I just have to get good. Okay, trying to get good. Trying to get good. Trying, trying. I'm, I, I'm potentially good at trying to get good. <laughs> Alright, so the, the, the main thing to really look out for for that last run was 
uh, the fire being burped out. That was that was not great for me because uh, I was not being careful, just running forward, uh, which is going to get you killed super easily. And video games are real life. Don't run into f fire. OK, so it was actually like right here. There was oh, there was uh, a hostage. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I do have one meat in my possession, which is all, you know, if you're going to take a backpack out, a purse, whatever, always have some meat. Just, you never know. All right, 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 right. We're where we were. What fell out? So, oh, a power-up fell. Oh, my God, that's terrible. It looked like a power-up fell out of the stage boundary. That's... Oh, oh my God. Now I'm doing badly again. That, that, that destroyed me losing that power-up. All right, there's nothing actually here. Watch out for the flame thing. There was one, yeah, hate you. Okay, there's Zayd Hart, part of the Hart Dynasty. That was fast, I did that well, but I'm still gonna get hit. I love one more shot, I need the meat. I've been talking about the meat the entire time. Cause I at least want to get to the boss. I at least want to see the next stage. I think one, uh, I think zero counts as a life in this. Not 100% sure. I sure hope it does. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Every part of me is tense enough here. Okay. Okay. Just wait. Too bad you can't kill these things. I really want to kill them real bad. Uh. Well, that opened up the bridge. It's crazy. New mechanics all the time. Gimme! I'm not sure if that was the best place to use it, but I freaked out. I panicked. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's horrible. Okay, leave slime. I don't see where it is right now. I'm so gonna die. Like, I'm not doing this no way unless there's some meat somewhere in the stage arena. I don't think there is, but yeah, no. Oh, damn. Okay. We, 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 let's fucking go! Not sure if that's hitting him. I feel like I heard impact noises. Yeah! Whoo! Ooh, man. Still E? Holy shit, what does the game want from me? All right, girl, you gotta give me something, an extra life. I sell you something? Do you have an extra life? I don't actually know if any of this stuff is. Like, what's a green potion? I don't know. That's probably armor? I have this lightning bolt thing. Is any of that an extra life? Oh my god, I don't actually know. Okay, I can afford I can afford a meat. Thanks. That's good. But wait, no. So there's these those three slots down there. I'm seeing those and I'm like, well, I wonder what goes there. Uh uh If I get a shield. Thanks. Okay, they go they go in the slots. Thank you. Nice. Okay. But a scroll actually goes into the into the uh, the chicken slot. So whatever those are, we'll find out. We're probably gonna be fighting like a huge spider at the end of this. I just have a feeling. Oh my god, those guys came at me, just trying to catch those hands, and I really don't want to. That did that destroy? No, it did not. That's fine. That's fine. This map seems a little bit different in its in how it's structured. It seems more circular. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> There's mugs! I love this guy! Okay, so I did that. How do I actually use these other power-ups? Because none of the other face buttons did anything. Why uses that active thing? Do I swap them out? I'm... I just want enemies to go away for a second while I figure it out. So I can't really seem to figure out how to make those other power-ups I bought work. I pressed every button on the controller, press pause, there's no inventory, so m maybe it'll be revealed to me? Maybe they're passive? I'm not entirely sure. I, I really do kind of wish there were descriptions for what those power-ups do and, and kind of you know how they work. So that is a harsh rule. The harsh rule of Battle Axe is you have to complete it in one single sitting and you have no continues. I think that's a little strict. Um, may, may, maybe loosen that up just a little bit. I don't know, it's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Other than that, that was really, really fun. Just it's amazingly uh, impactful to, to kill things and, and that's a good time. 
uh, is very arcade-like as well, and, but goddamn that pixel art. Also, my boy, Genzo Man, uh, uh, did some illustrations for the main marketing images, which uh, I'm always a big fan of his. Uh, thanks again to Bitmap Bureau for sending a code my way. Um, I definitely think I'm going to try a few more runs, and, and maybe one day I will get good, as, as the kids say. <laughs> 